uh, another uh, consideration is that it seems like now uh, so many of the kids uh, seem to be uh, inflexible, uh, don't have great mobility. Should yes. uh, an extensive period of time be spent on trying to develop mobility and, and uh, flexibility with these kids? Or uh, I, ab I absolutely think so. And I think, you know, there's a lot of different times in the workout when you can do this. I think you're, if you're going to let them foam roll and do their resets, that's a big part of it, trying to get them in the right position. Um, we're always going to take – I would say the first 10 to 15 minutes of our athletic development classes are going to be built towards, you know, those, not just flexibility and mobility, but like rhythm, coordination, you know, a lot of these like skills that I don't want to like sound negative, but you know, a lot of these kids just frankly don't get anymore. They're not getting it in gym class and that sort of thing. So we kind of use that as a time to build some of those skills like skipping, you know, just the coordination and the rhythm that they don't have, but, absolutely so we're going to work on it there in like the the resets and the readiness portion we're also going to do it at the end too like maybe if it's three to five minutes maybe we'll do some cool down breathing but you know i'm not opposed to doing some hip flexor stretching that sort of thing post-workout try and loosen them back up a little bit i think there's definitely benefit there but you know at the end of the day like that's the starting point right if a kid doesn't have just the, the requisite mobility and stability to do the stuff that we need, then we've got to build that first because otherwise we're just building this, this really big, robust engine on a really shoddy frame.